All right, today we're going to be working on the HDS LSS1 transducer. What we're going to try to do is find these this DI downshot, uh, the two signal wires in the transducer cable. These two that should be located on these two pins, with that being the bottom. <clears throat> but we're going to cut into the harness and see if we can't locate those two pins and try to separate that signal and see if we can't get a better picture. But this is the transducer wire that we're going to be performing this experiment on. I'll try to do a little bit of detail for y'all as I go through this. Alright, this is the first thing we find when we break into this harness. The left side right side and down shot are the wires are wrapped together in a foil a protective foil covering to keep the signals from from uh running through to each other but there's also a braided ground wire a gray and a brown wire So we know it, we, we've narrowed it down to these sets anyway. They're separate. Once I figure out which sets operate the down image, the plan is to, to is to cut the wire and put an inline switch. I know we'll have to follow this back up to keep the the signals from from uh, blending together and creating interference. But I plan to turn this down shot off so we can get a much better side image reading. Uh, we'll see which wire this is after testing. We're just going to ohm out the wire straight to the pin and it's supposed to be the top two pins off to this side similar to that diagram right there. Boy I hope this works. <laughs> Alright y'all. After taking it to the lake and manually cutting each wire one at a time to find out which wire does what and you know what color they are, <clears throat> what they represent, uh, this is what this is what was found. This is confirmed that it's down shot. There's a yellow, this is the yellow pin, this is the white pin. On the white pin, uh, it's noted that it also controls depth. So both wires have to be cut in order to completely lose signal for the down shot. Uh, on the left side, these two pins, which this is green, and this is red. You cut either wire and the shot is completely lost. Just either wire, it doesn't matter. Same with the right side. There's a blue pin and this this is the red pin. The center is a gray pin and that controls uh, your temperature reading. And the bottom Two here and here, brown and black, are, are ground only, and they're not the braided ground. I never cut the braided ground. I, I saw no sense in that. Uh, if you cut either one of the grounds, I notated at the bottom, but if you cut either one of those grounds, the only thing that's lost is the temperature reading. Everything else still remains. So those grounds have no effect at all <coughs> on down on down shot or left and right side image. But uh, this this is definitely for the LSS one and and I, the way I understand it, this works LSS two. Uh, there should be no difference in the wiring pins because you can interconnect them from one to the other. You can put the 
transducer with the LS the LSS1 transducer with the LSS2 package or vice versa. Uh, thank God that, that I didn't mess nothing up. <laughs> uh, there's nothing but a wire. That's all that it is. If you have a problem, you solder it right back together and it, it works. Uh, I'm fixing to take the boat out and do some field testing and we'll find out what this thing's actually going to do. Thanks. That's what we're looking like now. Notice the edges right here don't have the three lines. That's what happens when you see that. This for those that are going to ask, I'm on the 455 kilohertz, and I had to bump it way down to 5%, and I also had to go over to the downshot settings and run it really low. It still somehow uh, gets a signal. There's not much change when I turn it off. But it physically will turn off now. And that's how I've done it on the second graph. Right there are both of the wires <coughs> for down shot. There it goes. Physically look. Alright, down shot. There's nothing. And we are in deeper water. Excuse me. Deeper water than what I've got the graph set at. I actually don't care what's on the bottom. <clears throat> That's where the shot's on. That's what happens when you shut it down. When I start losing the, those lines on the sides, I'll start losing them. I notice a lot of the problem with the ranches. The, it appears this it just lays way too much power. I've had to really, really back off to be able to see. It actually sees a little bit better when I get down. When I get down to around 3%, I can see uh, bait fish on the sides a lot better. You got to remember, this ain't but a little low, a little old 5 inch display in HDS5. This is old school. It come. This is when it when it first came out. I've also got the old LSS1 package on it, but it appears to be doing pretty well now. I feel more confident with it shut down. I really didn't want to run tape over the transducer and not have the ability for down shot by doing it this way. Flip the switch. And I have that ability now.
I can see what's in the down shot screen. So, pretty cool. I guess I'm satisfied. Alright, this was the go. See that big, large bait scoop? And you can see how the scoop overlaps the side. Usually I can't see that. That's what I've been... That's what this whole project was about. To see if I can't find them bait screws right on top of the bottom. Over over the bottom on side view. And apparently, I got it dialed in pretty good. Thanks for your time.